What's happening? Thanks for joining us again. I'm Chris. I'm Pete. And today we're going to look at something pretty interesting. This is from the Hill Farmstead Brewery out of Vermont, and this is their E. And it's, as we're trying to read up on it, it's a kind of a funky version of their Edward, which is their pale ale. Um, but with this one, what they did is they took Brett, added Brett, and they also um, dry hopped it with Galaxy Hops. And then it got all aged for four months in stainless tanks. And this is what you get uh, as the result. So, and, and we should note that this is a, not a whale, but it is an incredibly difficult um, beer well, to get a hold of. Well, pretty much most of the Hill Farmstead stuff, you pretty much need to go there to yeah, get. Yeah, you have to go there. It's in the middle of absolute nowhere of Vermont. But there really isn't anything of subpar quality. Even standard, everything is like above standard quality, at least that I've tried. I've been impressed with everything I've had from them. So, and it comes in at 7%. We found out on ye old internet. So I guess we should probably just get into it. And this will be my first Hill Farmstead. I've had their uh, Damon, which is their barrel age stout, which is a, they came in 500 milliliter bottles and that stuff was incredible. And uh, I've had mim the mimosa and flora. And those are both sort of you know, sort of Belgian sour kind of. So do we just sit for ten minutes, or are we just gonna kind of work through? Mm. <laughs> Go down. <laughs> While we're waiting for it to sort of dissipate, you can just sort of note the color. It's you know. It's like a real cloudy kind of honey straw color. Yeah, it looks incredibly it's refreshing. Really nice looking. Little bubbles coming yeah, up. Yeah, we got a whole whole handful of head up there still. <laughs> but like the the head on top, it has like that sort of whipped cream, ice cream kind of look yeah. to it. It's very white. Yeah. All right, so we just took like 10 minutes to do something else and let the head settle down here a little bit. So still has that same sort of color. I can see, you know, carbonation coming up off the bottom. Clearly the size of the head we had there. I don't think carbonation is a huge issue. No. But let's get a nose on it. It's a really cool combination between just a bright citrusy hop and sort of that the brett that's in there adding that sour complexity almost like a like a like a lemon zest sort of a an aroma but it definitely it definitely has the saison going on really mushroomy kind of earthy too yeah there's a little bit yeah there's like that that backing kind of funkiness in there yeah which is to me it's like that's definitely coming from the brett but there's just so much like citrus yeah kind of sourness in there. I don't want to say sour. Maybe it's more tart than anything. Well, it, I mean, it it kind of has that kind of Flanders um, cat, Monk's Cafe oh. kind of sharpness to it. Kind okay. of, you know what I'm, I'm talking about? That kind of northern Belgian, what is it, oozes? Yeah, like that, that sort of that's what I'm saying is tartness. Yeah. Just sort of that kind of feel or aroma in the nose. Okay, I oh. need to drink. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there's definitely, as we noticed in the pour, still a ton of carbonation in the taste and really dry. Yeah, it's not, it's not nearly as tart as the nose would make me expect no and there's a lot more of sort of those those funky kind of kind of farmhouse notes in there uh, but definitely I think it combines really well you're still getting sort of that malt and hop that you would think of from a pale ale like you're you can if you can see that in the background there's just yeah. You know, it's like decorating the Christmas tree. It's still, you know, you got your tree there, but you got everything else on it. It's, it really is kind of, 
like nothing I've ever had before. I mean, it doesn't fall into one. Yeah. One category. And it definitely still has those. That lemony kind of tartness in there. I mean, slightly kind of grassy and herbal, mm -hmm. a little bit. But that's definitely that's a really refreshing beer. Yeah. You know, seven percent. You're not gonna get totally annihilated off the bottle. Nope. Unfortunately, but we may never be able to get this again. But on the other hand, Hill Farmstead brews a lot of awesome stuff. Yeah. And I was just talking to John on the phone earlier, and I think we're going up there in a couple of weeks. How are you? So we'll bring something back. So overall, it's definitely different. I think it's refreshing. You know, and it's it's worth trying if you can get some. Oh, absolutely. It. Any last thoughts on your part? Um, I like it. I it's probably not on my top of my list as favorite kind of beer style. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's excellent quality. <laughs> it's of excellent <laughs> quality. <laughs> so that's the Hill Farmstead Brewery E. And we're going to keep enjoying the rest of this because we got plenty. And it'll probably take forever to pour. It'll be dark out <laughs> by the time we're done with the bottle. But hope you're enjoying something as well, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.